So today I'm going to do my February pen porn and favorite products. I'll, as always, I'll start with pen porn products. Uh, I didn't get through that much, that many products this week and this month, <laughs> because last month I kind of had a lot. And for me, a lot of people actually were um, asking if my pan porn products are just products that you hit pan or the products that you use up completely. For this, I'm talking about the stuff I've completely used up. I've had some pro a lot of products that I've hit pan on, but um, like these are products that after this, like usually when I do the pan porn products, after I do the videos, I'll get, I'll throw them away. I won't use them again. So, um, let's get started. I used up two hair products. This is the, uh, John Frieda Frizzies Smooth Start Conditioner. I don't like the shampoo, but I really like the conditioner. Well, it's, it gives you the illusion that your hair is softer, but it's, I think it's just, um, like all the silicone talking. It just... It, you, your hair will feel soft, but it doesn't feel moisturized, if you guys know what I mean. Like, I don't know, Pantene gives you the same feeling. Like, you can move, move your hair, and you're like, oh, my hair is soft. But it's just, like, on the outside. You don't feel that your hair is being moisturized on the inside. So I I kind of stocked up, because I, when I first used it, I really liked it. But, um... After I get through my stock stuff, I won't repurchase this because I like the suave conditioners a little bit better. And this is the Aussie 3-Minute Miracle, and I really like this. Um, I've used this before, and this is something that um, I strongly recommend to anyone. It's like an ex inexpensive hair mask. For me, I get through this pretty fast just because I like OD on my hair treatment, so I'm like, Psh! and then half a bottle is gone. So, um, uh, it, I, I recommend this. And, and then again, the MAC Cleanse Off Oil, um, it has a little bit left. I will just like, I have like one more use out of this. I have like, the pump doesn't work anymore, so I have to like twist it open and do that. So it's a staple again. So, yeah. Okay, so now my favorite products. First up, I'm gonna, um, this is the, one of the skincare items that I was talking about. This is the, oh, I forgot to include this in my skincare routine. <sighs> Dang it. This is the Kiehl's Avocado Eye Treatment, the Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. I got a sample of this, but I'm going to buy it full size. Um, for those of you who um, read my blog, you guys know that I recently, my eyes were peeling because I got uh, the alpha hydroxy acid too close to it and it just couldn't, my eyes couldn't handle it and it started peeling a lot. And I was like freaking out because m the makeup didn't look good because it was flaky and it didn't feel nice because it was dry. And my coworker actually introduced me to this and I got a sample and... It was it was really moisturizing and it's really soothing. It didn't cause any discomfort. Um, it doesn't have a, too many bells and whistles. You know, it is great at kind of. It's great at moisturizing, but it's not. It doesn't claim to be anti-aging or, you know, lifting and all that good stuff. If you're like still kind of young, and then you want to get started into the eye treatment, but you don't want to like because for me I always felt like it's important to start taking care of your skin like start to prepare for the anti-aging but when you're like in their 20s you don't have to use anti-age anti-wrinkle anti whatever whatever just start you just want to make sure that you moisturize your skin properly and so you don't get those like dry lines and all that good stuff so this is definitely a great way to start and um, another product I want to talk about is the Badger Healing Balm. It looks like this. I like to make crosses in my um, products. I usually go like this on my lips because I usually for lips, but that's like 
when I use it for my cuticles and stuff. And it works really well. It sinks in really fast. And it smells like winter green, which smells like gum. And then it um, moisturizes really well. It It's not heavy, which is, I love. Sometimes when it's too heavy, your skin feels like it's not breathing. And this time, it feels like it is breathing. So... I don't, I didn't really have any like eyes or face or whatever products this month um, to talk about, but I do have some lip products. Uh, first of all, a, first of all, I want to talk about the MAC Gaga 2. Uh, when I first saw this at update, I was like, this is poo color. It washes me out. And I, when I tried it on, it did wash me out because um, it's an amplified and usually I don't use lip products so I was just like oh lipstick Psh. I just went like straight up all over my lips and that covered my lip color so well because it's so pigmented and it just, it just washed me out completely so I was like okay this product is a fail I don't know what Gaga is thinking but then again she's like her creativity is like right here, and I'm like down there, so I don't really get her. But um, at work, we had to do this like Gaga event with, where we have to wear the Gaga stuff. So what I did is I start to wear it with like a lip liner and then a gloss on top, and it looked a lot better. And so the liner, because I don't wear lip liners, so I don't want to, I don't feel like buying one. Um, just for the event, so I got this like cheapy Jordana lip liner in natural. I have this on right now, by the way. I have the liner and the Gaga 2 lipstick and a gloss I'm going to talk about. So what I do is that I put a little bit of lip balm on my face, the healing balm, and then I kind of take the lip liner, slightly overdraw my lips a little bit, So it gives me a little bit of definition. And then what I do is that I take the Gaga lipstick. I'm just going to do it on top of what I have on. And then I dab it. You see? It washed my lips out completely. And then I kind of just go like this. And then I kind of push it. So that it kind of covers the lip line. So then you get the nude color without going completely overboard. And you still get the definition without being like lip liner. So, and then the last thing is to throw a lip gloss on top. The one I really like is the Rock and Republic um, Lux Lip Gloss in Muse. It's kind of like that creamy apricot color. Um, I think For Abundance from MAC looks really similar to it. So get a little bit. See? So instantly it turns into like a really wearable kind of a peachy nude. Because Lady Gaga too is a rather yellow kind of it looks like sis lipstick by mac which i think is a rather difficult color to wear but um now i with the lip liner and the lip gloss it looks good in my opinion and then another lip product i want to talk about is the revlon color um burst lipstick in peony it's kind of that it's the color is really similar to nars orgasm lip the blush it's like a pink with a hint of peachy gold shimmer to it. And then let me swatch the Lady Gaga too. That's Gaga 2. And then this is the gloss. See the gloss is a little bit more orange so it kind of turns that yellowish beige color into a more wearable peachy nude so that oh 
And last but not least, the nail polish I'm going to talk about is the Sally Hansen Complete um, Salon Manicure in Touch and Mink. And that's what I have on my nails. My nails are chipping, sorry. And this is a color that is... I think it's kind of a really chic color. It's a... It's a really pretty kind of a... You kind of don't know what color this is. It's like a gray and like a steely kind of like, I just, I don't know, I just really like it. And the same power is pretty good. I have had this on for like seven days for like a week and it's only cheaping a little bit. So, yeah, I got this out right for like seven bucks, which is really expensive as far as nail polish go, like drugstore nail polish. But it, I really like the color. So, yeah, that's as far as my February Pam porn slash favorites go. So, um, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.